Good day folks, this is the lesson about the auto-ionization of water. Water ionizes itself and water, since it's an amphiprotic substance, it can behave as a base, um, it can behave as, a, as an acid. Um, let's look at it in the glass of water. In this glass of water, you have water molecules. The water molecules here, they will ionize um, themselves. That means they will form an ionic product, which means one molecule will donate a proton and one molecule will, will, will accept a proton. Let's look at this schematic diagram. This is a water molecule and reacts with another water molecule. This first molecule here, it behaves as an acid. That means it's a what? It's a proton donor. If you see there, there's a proton that is donated to a second a second water molecule so this one behaves as a base it will accept that and then what will be your product your product there if you look there there is the the proton that was donated and then it forms the ionic product we call it it's a hydronium ion right and then now the remnant of this water that donated it will be an hydroxide ion so if you look at here there's an ionic product that is formed there now chemically or um, equationally, we can say water um, in a liquid state react with another water in a liquid state and it will form um, the hydronium ion plus the hydroxide ion in an aqueous state. Both will be in aqueous state. So water, it ionizes itself, it forms ions. That means it can form the ionic product there. Now, let's look at the, 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 the equilibrium constant for this. We call it its Kc. Our Kc there, it will be this product. It will be the concentration of hydronium. Multiply the concentration of hydroxide ion divided by what? Concentration of water. Concentration of water. Now, remember, guys, in Kc, the concentration of water is equal to 1. 1 more per cubic centimeter so our kc now it will change into a kw it's an equilibrium constant for ionization of water it will be the concentration of hydronium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide divided by one times one which is one times one it will be what it will be the concentration of hydronium ion times by the concentration of hydroxide divided by one now the value the value um for each concentration the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to it's a constant value for the concentration it's equal to 1 times 10 to the power negative 7 more um, per dm3 equally the concentration of hydronium it's the same it's 1 times 10 to the power negative 7 more per dm3 now we can simply say the product we can simply say the kw which is the product of um, hydroxide ion multiplied by the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to 1 times 10 to the power negative 14 um, more per dm3 um, for those substances. Now, that's the auto ionization of water in a nutshell. Now, let's look at them. Let's look at the um, what does it mean if your solution, if your solution is acidic is acidic that means the concentration of hydronium ion is bigger than the concentration of hydroxide ion you know when we talk about the hydro hydronium ion we are referring to an acid and this we're referring to a what to a base right now if we have a basic solution let's say our solution is basic basic solution that means the concentration of hydronium ion is lesser than the concentration of hydroxide ion but for a neutral solution if your solution is neutral for a neutral solution that means a bold concentration of hydronium ion is equal to the concentration of hydroxide ion and we know their value is one times 10 to the power negative seven more per dm3 